Hello, lovely humans. Wait, let's try that again with my face in frame. Hello, lovely humans, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Two. There she is. <laughs> we have decided that we are crafting today. We are starting off the vlog a little bit later. I always have um, a, li a bit of a longer journey for, for editing on the first day, especially if I'm doing any new graphics or anything like that and I don't have them prepared ahead of time. So editing took me, you know, all of my waxing poetic yesterday about uh, filming less, so I have less to edit. Editing took me several hours today, but I really wanna do those little teasers on Instagram stories. So you guys have to let me know if you like those. One of them's going live at five ish tonight. We are just settling down for a long winter's nap. No, just kidding. Yeah, to work on those felt ornaments that we pulled out yesterday. If it was you that sent them to us, please let us know because I have a feeling we're about to have a jolly good time with these. So I'm playing with my Legos over there. You are playing with your Lego over there, huh? Yeah. Camera can barely even see you. So nothing like a good afternoon cup of coffee left over from your morning pot of coffee that you never finished because editing land. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have a whole lot planned today. Daddy just finished his last day. Oh gosh, I'm not even in a frame. So we don't have a lot of, whole lot planned today. Daddy just finished his last day of work at um, a job that he was only at for like, what, four, six weeks? Because he got a way better offer come in because that man is a valuable asset in the construction field. Um, so we're gonna celebrate with him tonight, hang out. Uh, he does need to go out to Mart, which is where his sister and brother-in-law two of his sisters um, and brother-in-law live um, because while they're not interested in hunting, he is. So he's got a new tree stand set up out there as well as a blind and he really wants to bow hunt from the tree stand tomorrow. But there's a branch in the way. So because we're working on limited sunlight, we're not quite sure what his schedule is for the day. But I do know that we are looking forward to spending some time with him tonight, huh guys? Yeah. Yeah. It feels weird having daddy not in the house, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it feel like it did before, or it just feels like brand new, because it's been so long? It's been so long. That it kind feels of feels brand new, huh? Yeah. Yeah, same. Is it considered super basic of me if I just want to do the Christmas light ones? I mean, there's so many cute options, but I don't want to commit myself to... <laughs> See, look how easy the Christmas lights are. In fact, I think my girlfriend, um, Becca, um, from De La Plants on her De La Creations um, YouTube channel has felt ornament tutorials. So you can buy them in packs like this or you just go follow her video. Um, and I think this is one of the things that she made from scratch. And they look really simple and very cute. But also, look at this little gingerbread house. I think you can do the gingerbread house. <laughs> Amelia, do you need mommy to hold you? Okay. <laughs> boot, 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 okay. Boot, booty. Hi. Okay. I got a sharpie. So maybe. <laughs> are you, uh. Hold on. Are you let mommy do any DIYs right now? Or are we just gonna watch your siblings do it? Ma'am. Which one should I do? Should I do this one? Yeah. That's, that's a really bad idea. No, no, okay. Some of these are so cute. This is like a little, almost supposed to look like a snow globe. Okay, okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this craft with you in my hands. I don't, I don't think she likes that idea. <laughs> okay, good luck. Yeah. Bye. Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. <laughs> Mom hack. My mother taught me this forever ago. She always had um, tin foil down on her hot glue gun trays. So as you set it down to rest it, it doesn't get on anything else. I don't have to worry about it getting on this or on the table. What? You look very cute. I have to figure out some way to get on the table. Watch me. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yes, Silas. Can you please help me? What do you need help with? I just want to help uh, it. Oh, help with your ornament? Yeah. yeah, why don't you come pick which one you want to do? So there are tons of options, okay? There's, look at that. It's a little blue Santa Claus. 
That's a poinsettia. Little stockings. How sweet is that? Little Santa. This sweater looks hard though. So I'd say let's not do that one. Oh, we're gonna do a sweater. I literally just said the sweater looks hard, so let's not do that one. And you said I wanna do a sweater. I wanna do it though. I really want to. You wanna do stitching and everything? You can you can do the stitching for me. I have to be prepared in case Amelia loses it. So I can just stop what I'm doing and grab her. Okay. It's not your fault, no. It it kinda is. Um uh, so look at these. Look at the gingerbread men. Oh how are you sew the little here. buttons on? It's not one. Could you you wanna do that one? Yeah. Okay, so we are looking for T seven. Where is uh huh? Aha. Uh -huh. Found him. Can you pass me that so? The paper for this? Oh, yours is T6? Yes. Uh, we are sharing because yours is on this. There you go. Silas and I have decided to do... Gingerbread. Gingerbread man, which you guys, when you were little, used to call gingerbread man. Gingin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was cute. What was that laugh? I'll do the lights. Whoa! Whoa! I'll do the lights. Whoa, do Silas, it feels a little bit like I'm doing this for you right now. I just tried to put the, the thing on. Okay. okay, so we need a pen so you can draw in the stencil. A little smiley face. <laughs> See? What? Yeah. Same thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's some Sharpies behind Olivia, too. Oh, cool. The Sharpies are too thick, though. All right, Mr. Man. I got a pen. You want to do it? Wait, draw the smiley face? So watch. I'll do this. Like this, get his little eyeballs, oh. and then dearest friends in the world sent us a package and I haven't opened it yet and I just peeked a little bit and then gasped and I was like I need the camera okay nope sir you don't. okay can you move your bottom please okay ready all right let's do this out of the way I see Harry Potter do you I see Harry Potter what is that she's We don't even have the advent calendars today. Wait, are these Christmas gifts? She didn't say anything. I opened it from the right setup, didn't I? This looks like a Christmas. Oh, Christmas you guys, season. look at these books. I found this. Jesus calling. We can't open Me. Well, can't that one's that one we have to open. Yeah. Okay. Jesus calling. Devotions for kids. Case for Christ. Case for a creator. Oh, the least trouble books. Case for faith. Those are awesome. What is this? A boy's guide to making really good choices. Dad. What's up, babe? We're opening a box from Amy that I had no idea had all this stuff in it. Watch out, please. Watch out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if we're supposed to. Yeah. And then the oh, uh oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Because I think these. <laughs> shoes for oh my gosh, these have to be the boys' old shoes. Oh. Oh. Amy's boys are now 18? I think they're 18. Are they 19? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they might be 19. Look at these. Look at these little pumas. Oh, that's a pretty wide toe box. That's not bad. I don't think one of those would fit their toes. Right? <gasps> oh. Baby Burks. <laughs> Elias. Baby Burks. 
Okay, this is probably... Amy, what did you do? I feel earrings. <laughs> she got me y'all earrings. <laughs> and knowing her, she probably bought them from a small company. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. Mary Catherine at Mary Catherine Design, made in Tennessee, which is where they are now moving, which makes me so sad. I made such a strong petition for Waco, y'all. Ha, ah, y'all. But she wasn't going for it. Those are cute. Do you think those will fit? Because these actually, the lightning bolts that I wear every day are from Amy too. Do you think they'll fit on the sides? Or are they too wide? Hmm. How I don't know. am I gonna get work. this thing? I don't know. And this ring I wear every day is from Amy too. Amy, you're so cute. I have to call you or text you or something. This is awesome. All right, Olivia, do you want to open this? Yes. Yes. I do too. Okay, well, um, since it's for the 25 days of Christmas, we can start it today. Okay. You probably don't need the, um... okay. You don't need the scissors, baby. I felt like cutting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I felt like cutting stuff. Can you say that without any sort of emotion whatsoever? I felt like cutting stuff. <laughs> so right off the bat, I see Whoa. stickers. Oh, oh, what? This is, oh, this is cool. <gasps> is that a little open every day? What is that? Deck the Great Hall? All right, go ahead. Is that the Hungarian horntail? <laughs> what is it? What are these? It looks like they're Harry Potter. Potter. They're little cards. It's the advent calendar? Yes, Amy sent us a Harry Potter advent calendar, That's which is awesome. perfect because we don't actually don't even have one this year. These look like they're little cards. Oh, and we're in December. It's December already. <laughs> Jimmy, Christmas. No, we're just filming Vlogmas for funsies. <laughs> that is cute. I've actually had this DIY on my mind for a really long time. I think I bought these a year ago, but I've thought about them for a really long time. You know how these sprigs fall off of all of your like holiday decor, and then you can never find where they go? I was wondering if... This, this could be a total flop, but you know those like really super minimalist looking? See what I'm talking about? I don't know if I love it or hate it because it's just kind of all curved up in there. Okay, wait. <laughs> Maybe it would work with a branch that's not as large. And I, but I kind of really like it. Maybe if I can get a toothpick in there and kind of spread it out. See what I'm talking about? I think that's so cute. <sighs> Thank you, Isabella. <gasps> okay. Let me see if I can get, I'm almost poking myself in the eye with the other end. Can I get, I feel like this is, this feels like the game of operation, but like grown up. But like not actual operating, you know? Do you say that's terrifying? Please don't operate on me. <laughs> that's terrifying. I guess you're kind of just like stuck with whatever your branch wants to do, especially if they're not wired. Now I kind of have the end of it coming over here. But conceptually, I did get it frayed out a little bit more. Conceptually, I really like it. I just think this one branch might have fit a little bit better in a larger ornament. So this is like the super cheap pack from I think it was from Joann's. It says 20 bucks on it and there's 25 of them, but I'm pretty sure we bought way, we got it with a coupon or discounted or something because it's Joann's. Ooh. Hello, sir. Why are you doing that? Okay, I am just kind of turning it into like a really cutesy little ornament. Uh, and then the only other thing I think I might want to do is, look at that. It's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah. Why are you putting your hand behind it? So, because sometimes the camera wants to focus on my face, but if I do this, it lets the camera know that something is up closer, especially because it's got a clear backdrop. Oh. I think another great variation on this would be if the stem hits the right location. Again, I think this is probably too long for this one. Um, but to put like some of that fake plastic snow at the base of it, I think that's really cute. And then if you want to switch out the string, which I actually genuinely might, 
um because the red and white is cute but it's a little it's a little bit more of like the the kitschy end of things that i think i want to do hey mom yes my love what sounds like a good idea is to like to make all of that go on to the bottom like not all of it just on the side oh see that's what i kind of like i like it on the sides uh. that's the part that i like about it but yeah, I just don't know if I like the red and white. If especially if I'm going for like an organic, natural feel. What do you think, dude? I don't like. I, I want to switch it to like a tan twine or black or white. I'm thinking white. Hmm. So now I need to go around and find all the other sprigs because I actually had them collected up a couple days ago. I don't know where they went. Um, and uh, toss them in these because I think this is really fun. What a simple, easy, classic-looking DIY. Ducky. Yes, bud. Are you going to do one? Uh, not right now. Only because I don't want to get in the way. Mm, uh, yes. Mm, yes. <gasps> that is adorable. Oh, I love that. What? The ornament I just did? Yeah, just, I'm not sure on this one. I should rub and buff the top of these, actually. That would be divine. Okay. <gasps> with the little white flowers in it. Oh, Isn't that cute? Yeah. All right. Good idea. And we can put the ones that we are using in like a basket or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Daddy and I are running a quick errand. Love you guys. Get me a bunny. I'm not, get, we're not getting you a bunny, baby. Because oh. you think saying it on camera will get you one. What? Are you serious? <laughs> child. Child wants a rabbit so bad. Hey, what, bud? Probably 20, 30 minutes. Come give me a hug. Okay, we're actually on a super secret top mission. The kids have no idea that we're doing this. We've lost a few birds recently. I think like five birds in like a month and a half. So in as many weeks. Um, and we would like for our animals to not be, <laughs> like a pigeon to glare on your face. Predator bait anymore. Um, and we've been entertaining this for a hot minute. What, are you blind? Both the side of the ears. Can you see, does this help? Yeah, it actually does. Does it really? Okay. Um, so I'm hoping that our appointment time at five o'clock still works. I haven't heard confirmation, so we're just going. We're going. Oh wait, you haven't heard anything back? You just... No, she's, but she suggested the time. Oh, and okay. I asked if she could be flexible just in case. Oh, okay. And she said yes. So, that's okay. We could go. So I go in first, do I line up the kids? Huh? Do I line up the kids? I'll just tell them we have a little surprise. Yeah, sure. Okay. Tell them we have a little surprise. Okay. Hi, Brian. Clyde, great. Ah! Hi! Where's Olivia? I just need you for one quick sec. <laughs> what was that? Okay, so we just went and picked up a little Christmas something, and I think it'd be way more fun if we filmed it. Um, so can you guys come sit here? Sit where? Oh, should you should you sit here? Yeah. yeah, let's actually have you sit here. It's more comfortable. Okay. Uh, Guys, can you sit on the oh. couch, please? Okay. Um, let's move that one pillow so you guys can actually like sit next to each other. Come here, bud. Thank you. Okay, and I need you to close your eyes. Silas, that includes you. No, open it. All right, we will. <laughs> Cheaper's dog. Alright. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't really get another dog. 
This is my dog. <laughs> this is daddy's dog. Um, this is a great Pyrenees. He is going to live outside with our animals and keep them safe and protect them. And he's going to get huge. His daddy is 100 pounds. <laughs> oh, boy. What do you think, bud? Hi. You want to go pet him? <laughs> he's Wait, is it a girl? It's a boy. He's already about four months old, I think, ish. Three and a half, four months. He's only four months old, and he's already bigger than Pepper. <laughs> 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 Pepper's oh, such a tiny little nugget. Oh, boy. <laughs> he is oh his feet are together. He's like not Daddy. moving. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. Baby. And have we officially decided the name? No. No? You want to ruminate over a little? Yeah. Okay. What are the name ideas that's going through your mind? My baby. He reminds me of a giant polar Wait, bear. Wait, what if we name him Salt? Salt. So, okay. No. He is like a giant polar bear. Hi, baby boy. He's like, I don't like it. I'm so scared. Just, let's name it Salt boy. because he's the color of Salt. I mean, no. he's not shaking, which is a good thing. Oh, I'm naming this dog. This is all for daddy to name, okay? Okay. Cute. And on the... <laughs> How no. did I? No! I told Lias he can't name the dog anything that I don't, wouldn't yell. Q-tip! <laughs> Come here, Q-tip! <laughs> That's a good Q-tip! No, no, no. Oh, his legs are I so know. scared. He's so scared. I have an idea to try. Maybe he, he likes belly, belly water rubs. attacks with the chickens. He might love belly rubs. He might love belly yeah. rubs. So this will be perfect, most especially during coyote season. Yep. Doesn't That's... That? One of the main reasons we got him. Apparently, between the last three left, he's the the barkiest out of all of them. You can't tell right now. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's like whoa. Is wagging. Oh, just like daddy, straight <laughs> to his heart. Just give him a little bit of food. Look at the tail. Nice. He great, great call, Liv. <laughs> it's very sweet. He's like, well, this is very nice. I don't think I could like <laughs> this place. Are keep this dog oh, forever? now the tail's dead. He's all done because the food's gone. Oh, oh. there's the little. He's a good boy. Are we going to keep him forever? We're going to keep him forever. Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> what do you oh. think? Oh. I like him. He's I so think soft. You might have to be my truck dog. Where too. are we going? <laughs> but, but then how's he supposed to protect the house? Oh, I'm not gone very much. <laughs> Where are we gonna uh, see that brown a little bit out? Where are we gonna keep Bonnie, Clyde, and Pepper? <laughs> well, this is the most dog. Well, at least have. at least he's an outside dog. <laughs> once he so. gets comfortable, we'll introduce them all. Uh -huh. But considering his tail is between his legs, we're not gonna introduce him for a while. Hi, who's that cute baby? So that is our new puppy. <laughs> Because we need another mouth to feed, huh? No, we all jokes aside, we've actually considered this for quite some time. That is a great Pyrenees pup, um, and he is officially going to be, he's going to be daddy's dog. What is that mouth? Um, officially going to be daddy's dog and an outside dog. We have lost five chickens over the last month and a half. And we frankly really don't want to be doing that anymore. I think we already said that in an earlier clip. So the plan for now is that he will spend the day with the goats and spend the night with the chickens because that's when we've lost the chickens. So we want to have him in there with them. Um, which he's, he's, he's only what? He was born August. He's not quite four months yet. He's three and a half months old. Uh, we had him inside. He's super sweet, but he was not having it. He's just like... Everything's weird and very strange. So we put him in the backyard and he perked up immediately. Huh. He's just so cute. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is the fence not on? Hey, babe, your dog got out. <laughs> That's because the fence isn't plugged in. Oh my goodness. So the, the girlies are out moving the chicken coop because where the chickens have been for the past, I think they've been there for a couple days. Let me turn this off. Um. And we don't want a new puppy going and laying all the chicken poop. Um, so while they are doing that, I've got Amelia in her saucer. I'm going to be washing Elias's hunting gear um, because, did I say this earlier? I feel like I did. Uh, he's going hunting out in Mart tomorrow morning at um, his sister's property. So we are trying to wash it without any sort of det detergent. So I'm just gonna do, I think, is it just baking soda? Just to kill any extra scent. 
just in case. Yes, I did say this earlier because it's bow season. Yes, I brought all this up earlier. Um, so hold on, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to get his hunting gear all nice and unscented. But since it's already, I don't know, six something, I should get a move on if I want it to all be dry. And as he's getting ready to go cut off this branch, like three more deer showed up on the cam, and he's like, "Come on!" <laughs> So we'll see. <laughs> we did not get very far with these crafts at all. <laughs> Look at that sad gingerbread man. Oh, I needed to put the baby down. And of course I was super distracted with the whole puppy situation. Cause you know, surprising your kids with a puppy for Christmas. <laughs> well, technically he's definitely gonna be a hard working farm animal. Um, and between that and this one, you, yeah, you just have some feelings like a little nose crusties on her. So maybe we'll just pick these up and deal with them later. But in other unfinished business, this is the loaf that we have for today. Are you smacking? You sweet baby. My kitchen is way colder um, than it normally is. Obviously with these cooler temps right now, so usually this would actually be a touch higher proofed wise or proofing wise, but I'm just gonna bake it as is. Um, with way colder temps in my kitchen it takes forever for me to get a rise and it took me a long time to figure that out because i would always try to follow other people's um guidelines when it came to sourdough and they say eight to twelve hours and then they cook and i'm like this doesn't seem like enough nope your girl needs much longer when her kitchen's super cold so we'll toss that in and uh see what it looks like probably about an hour although it's gonna take about 20 minutes preheat and then probably about 34 minutes to cook look at that glorious loaf that looks so good, I just pulled it out. Um, so I'm still trying to get the timing right on this because the top of it is browning a lot more than I want it to, but I think putting an extra cookie sheet in there kind of helps to um, take back some of the heat, I guess. Not take back, but like absorb some of the heat so it can cook a little bit more evenly. Oh, she is tired and no hasn't it. I just had the audacity to wipe boogers off of her nose. I <laughs> See how she feels She's about that. Still mad about it. But how much do we love this type of loaf? Oh, lovely. It's so good. It's, it's like sour and sweet. It's not sweet. You can't taste the sweetness. It's a fun sweet. You can't taste the sweetness. Of I can't stand sweet bread. This does not taste sweet at all. I love it. It's so good. so strange okay well um, I think I'm gonna go put baby down all right so mom while mom is taking care of the baby and putting her down what I shall be doing is unboxing that beauty right there and not technically unboxing more like just unpacking stuff time lapse it So that's everything. Just some like nice uh, cards. Oops, didn't see that. Um, some little, a bunch of, it's basically a bunch of cups. Um, some really cute Christmas plates. Some like dining table napkin holder things. I don't know what they're called. A uh, bunch of little uh, holders. And we have some of our favorites are the Christmas mugs. We usually put hot cocoa in or eggnog. And we have some cute towels. And I think that's all of it. We still have an entire box worth of things. All of that. So expect some more unboxing today or tomorrow or for the next or the entire vlogmas. So, yay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Chipotle. Thank you, Daddy. Oh my goodness. Is this your burrito? <laughs> the size of a baby? <laughs> no, it's the size of your baby's leg. That's true. Oh, That's okay. Accurate. Chipotle. <laughs> okay. In my defense, I didn't realize that we captured so much ornament footage and then didn't finish a single one. So I'm gonna try to trim it down, but I just imported an hour's worth of footage in for tonight's video. <laughs> Oops. It's fine, everything's fine. Look at that. 
I literally washed my hair and then put it straight in a bun. So I think my choice is for my evening. It's now 1040. So as you know, everyone else is asleep. Um, are, you know, just hope and pray my baby stays asleep. Maybe go blow dry my hair, get that kink out of it. Um, and then just rock straight here for a few days. I am so pleased with this little puppy. I mean, he was kind of crying out there. And I felt really bad. Elias felt really bad. And then we had to remind ourselves he's used to living outside. He's just sad because he's alone. Which didn't make it any better. <laughs> but he was not, he was clearly not content inside. He'll be fine outside. Um, and we're really happy to have him as an addition to our little farm. Our plan is to grow. Our plan is to get more acreage. So getting a pup trained now just makes so much sense. You know what I mean? Um, okay, stop waxing poetic and end the vlog already. Hi, okay, love you guys so much. The girls, Olivia and Isabella, sat down and read all of your comments from yesterday's video today, um, and it just melted their hearts. You guys are the best. We love doing this for you. I can't believe so many of you look forward to this every single year. I look forward to making this content for you. We all do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.